Hi everybody, welcome to this reading. If you were drawn to the thumbnail, then this reading's for you. We're gonna dive into the energies for this upcoming week. The top row is gonna be energies from our spirit guides and the universe. The middle row will be for energies from the physical, what we can expect coming up this week. And the final third row will be the energies that are swirling around us that's out of our control and our subconscious. Spirit guides, please show us what we need to know for this upcoming week. So we have the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and I just like to see if there's any messages that want to pop out. We'll take that. The Eight of Wands. And the Nine of Wands. We'll take it. This is the Everyday Tarot. So, I know this energy much too well. It is the en energy of a super big decision. I, my doctors told me I needed to do a double mastectomy for a cancer risk and it was the scariest choice of my life. I wanted, I researched and researched and researched every other possible option and it was just a really emotional time for me. I just had a newborn daughter and just all the options sounded wrong and I just didn't have any anyone to turn to. It's just a rare condition. And the thing with rare conditions is that there's so many different rare conditions that we all experience rare conditions. It'll be different from somebody else and it can be really isolating. It can make us feel like we have no one to turn to. And it was in this time for me that I really had to turn inwards. I had to make a judgment call and I had to trust my heart. And it was so interesting peeling back all the layers, all the mental blocks and really coming face to face with all of my fears, my fears of the consequences of the surgery and the, the consequences for my family and the consequences if I didn't do it. And there was just a point when I was laying in my bed, just crying and just begging the universe for any kind of guidance and crying out to my ancestors that I felt, I just felt like a, like I was in the lap of my aunties and my grandma who have also suffered with similar cancer risks and I just could feel feel them stroking my hair and just knowing in my heart that even though it was going to be so hard that I had to do it and that they were telling me that it was going to be okay and I trusted that guidance and I went through with it and it has been just fine there hasn't been any tragic consequences or I didn't lose my life force I don't feel like it instantly slammed my life into reverse. I didn't run out of energy. I'm just so grateful that I followed my heart and went with this decision. And just the stress that was lifted off of my chest. I kind of knew about the cancer risk and the genetic risk running in my family. And it kind of weighed heavily on me. I didn't realize how heavy it was weighing on me for my whole life. And making that decision, choosing me, even if it was going to hurt, even if it came with un knowable consequences. I just knew I wanted to live. I wanted to be here. I had to do it. And so she is, she's blindfolded. She does not know the outcome. And we, we cannot see, we cannot see sometimes and we have to go inward and we have to just follow our heart. And it doesn't seem very fun to follow your heart. Sometimes it's definitely not, but we cannot go wrong following our heart. And on the Rider Waite Smith deck, there is an island behind her, and she can't go to the island until that decision has been made. And I am so, so excited for you to follow your heart and make that huge decision and get to your island. It's not 
it's not going to be your deepest fears. It's not going to be put off forever. It has to be made. The decision has to be made. And you can set down the swords and turn and look to your island, island, to your new destination. And I am sending you all of the love and all of the supportive energy that I can. And I hope that you can really meditate and get in touch with your ancestors and get in touch with your inner child and your heart and anything that's blocking you to make this decision. Another message that is coming from spirit guides in the universe is that even though seas are rocky right now and it is taking so much energy to balance our physical life, finances, family, kids, everything that's on your plate, you are keeping it all in the air. You are standing upright. It's not going to be strong enough to throw you off balance. And that there is good energy, good messages flying in at you from the universe with great speed, messages of love, messages of, of abundance, and that you can rest easy. I know it's been nightmares, anxiety, keeping you up at night, but spirit and the universe want you to know that Help is on the way, dearie. Help is on the way. Spirit, please show us guidance and messages for the physical world for our viewer for this upcoming week. This reading is timeless. Anytime that you stumble on this, you can take the messages that resonate for you. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> It'll come back around. What's meant for you will come back around. There is no wasted energy. Let's take this. The Fool. I love the Fool card. So the Fool is the main character of Tarot. He represents you on your journey to enlightenment. It's an inner journey from living unconsciously and reactively to becoming aware of our inner thoughts, to becoming the watcher of our inner thoughts. And in alchemizing our busy, busy minds and our hearts and creating a third, a third path when our hearts and our minds are in sync and we can make choices for our life that are based on, on that direction, the direction of our heart and our mind together, make magic in our everyday world. The Seven of Wands is um, the next card. We have been facing lots of opposition, but you have the higher ground. You can do this. You can do this this week. And the Two of Cups, bringing two opposite energies together. And the Kundalini represents our channel, um, running it's like our chakra system running from our root chakra to our crown chakra. It's our, it's connecting us with our rooted energy and our root chakra to earth and the energies of earth to our crown chakra, which is our connection to the higher realms. And when we meditate and have an open channel and literally breathing in the energies from our higher guidance, and exhaling any worries and letting the universe hold us, letting the earth hold us, then our our body is in balance and we can balance those two opposites. Um, the universe may be recommending uh, meditation and breathing exercises for you. And I'm so sorry our reading got interrupted yesterday. I had to go pick up my kids and then make dinner and that was the end of the story. So where were we? I think that one of the messages the universe wants to share with you today is that a deep breathing meditation could be really beneficial for you and to get more in tune with your inner world and to marry your heart and your mind and it will help you in defending yourself from the, the everyday onslaught of energies. 
and I don't know if I mentioned this, but this energy has like a lot of mom energy to it. I don't know if it's just picking up on my energy or your energy too. Hopefully you're drawn to this um, and you have similar experiences. So for the final row we're going to draw, it is Spirit, please show us the energy that the viewer is is experiencing in the subconscious things that are out of their control anything that is affecting them that they should be aware of the hermit the six of pentacles The Hanged Man and the Queen of Cups. So I this final row. The Hermit is it can be that same meditative energy and this is the same energy as the star card. Um, we are the star, we are our own inner light, and the hermit has done enough inner work and meditation to know that he contains everything he needs inside all the answers are inside and not just our inner mind our inner intellect but in our heart and our connection with spirit and through meditation we can access that and so maybe the message from the universe is that it help is closer than it seems and to trust your intuition to always trust your intuition and to follow your heart and even if it seems like it's a bumpy path those are lessons that are honing us and polishing us the six of pentacles is an energy of having enough to to give to others and hopefully this is um, with the Mercury retrograde, whenever you're seeing this, just the energy of Mercury um, retrograde coming t back to direct and kind of having our energy flowing more smoothly. And that looking at things from a different perspective can really bring clarity. And I love this final card, the energy of the Queen of Cups. I have been so drawn to mermaids and the energy of mermaids and how she represents um in the rider weight she's holding the cup of emotion with a lid over it and to me it's saving enough of this energy for ourselves and knowing and having that intuition and knowing when it's enough when we can when we can relax when we can stop doing and just enjoy being so Let's finally draw um, a card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. I just love this deck. Let me show you so you can get it. Oh. <laughs> so beautiful. So it has... Um, each card has a message from the sacred landscape. Spirit, please show us any final messages for the viewer and what their spirit team wants to show them. This card keeps coming up. This is so beautiful. So I will read this from her book. Purification. Summer rain. Traditionally, rain symbolizes rebirth and washing away. Water is also associated with emotions, and a summer rain can represent the release of long-held emotions that allow for a purification and inner healing. There's also a renewal aspect of rain. The old saying, April showers bring May flowers means that what follows the rain is a time of renewal and blossoming. The sacred landscape wants you to know 
It's difficult for new, vibrant energy to enter your life if it's clogged with old and outdated energy. Cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox, clutter, clearing, cleansing, and space clearing. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt, and blame. Purify yourself, thought, word, and deed. Decluttering is a modern-day alchemy. If you don't love it or use it, let it go. This card can also represent abundance, as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity, and summer is a time of expansion. What a beautiful card for this end of summer season or whenever this reading finds you so uh the next card is from the phantasma tarot and it's the wheel of life that is so magical let me make sure it's focusing so i just got this and it has a real alice in wonderland feeling And let's read this one too. So in other decks, it's called the Wheel of Fortune. And here it's called the Wheel of Life. It has the zodiac signs. The Wheel of Life is in perpetual motion. And every action has an effect. With constant motion comes constant change, bringing the opportunity for the rabbit to reinvent himself. Whether on the upward or downward swing, he is meant to be at this point in his life, observing patterns and growing from lessons learned. A message for you. In the ever-moving flow of life, consider how you can expand on the parts of your life that bring you the most happiness. And one of my favorite um, old storybook illustrations and a poem as a final message, Spirit, will you show the viewer any final messages or a sweet poem? Let's go with this. Look, there is the rabbit again. How sweet is that? So our message is, Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all. Emily Dickinson, illustration by Millicent Sowberry, 1908. What beautiful messages. I hope that this week is full of new energy and fresh starts and purification for you and that you can really trust your intuition and inner light. You have everything you need inside of you. And that is all. Bye. Talk to you soon.